we have no business today. Huh? You, you know, she takes everything. One thing that worries me so much, furthermore, is how comes she thinks she holds this world? She thinks that this world uh -huh. belongs to her family members, uh -huh. belongs to her relatives, uh -huh. belongs to her, all her closest people. And furthermore, Nagas is not even from our clan. Madam, get out of this place. Niki fumba macho ni fumbuwe. Listen. I should not get you. I should not see you again. Ah, okay. Where? Watch out, fumbavu. Watch out, fumbavu. What do you mean, fumbavu? Okay. Do this, madam. Yes. Uh, we hadn't have anything to eat. Yes, today. yes, yes. Can you please sort us? Yes, yes. Talk to Kidogo. Yes, Kidogo. Talk to you about your businesses and something for your pockets. I understand yes. these things. <laughs> yes, we, you need to fill our stomachs. We need talk to do about, so much good food to us. It. But remember, we are hungry. Very good. Hungry. And something. We to Listen, give us sawa, something sawa. Listen, eh? I will tell Nangasa to come here. Then you can tell her all that you have told me. And I'm sure she will sort you out. We understand these things, eh? Cool down, Kidogo. Madam, where do you want to go? Uh, I want to go over to the thing. Do these, eh? Yes. And don't forget that. Okay. Leave these fools uh, alone, eh? Yes. Okay, okay. You, 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 you just go. I, I, I hope you, you have not made empty promises. What do you say? You are telling me that, that Madam. What do you, you don't know this, Madam? They've been here for so many years ago before. I am getting frustrated. Women and children are the most affected in this Moyo county, yet women are stuck with this gentleman and Ochupai. But what do you expect? When money speaks louder than everything we are saying combined, just look at this uh, young man we met, Kolumushi, the man with a broken leg. Ah. People have got to know their rights, understand the constitution that governs them, so that they are able to put their government to accountability. Yeah, you're right. But uh, talking about rights is not the only thing that one needs, eh? I hope you're not going to preach to people. But what is wrong with preaching if it would lead to a better life and an uh, honorable citizen? Our reason for going out today is to speak about people's rights. But pre preaching to people is a basic right. Wow. I didn't think about all that. What are we talking about? The way we approach the issue or what we're gonna say to the participants in today's workshop? Both. No content. In terms of the way we approach them, I don't think we're going to the pulpit. This is a stereotype mentality of you secular NGOs. The moment you hear about justice and faith, you equate it to the big chorus of Hallelujah, Amen. Ah. So, what else do you do? I can say they do a lot of good stuff. Just that they have this hierarchy that weighs down individuals and kills creativity. But that is a bit of discretion. I went through a school run by nuns of masses. Honestly, that is the way I came up with this right for women and children. Okay, sounds fantastic. What is our approach today? I will speak first, because they need to understand that the rights for women and children are always ignored during campaigns. In fact, I will start by lobbying that every senate should have his or a child in a public school. That way we shall have the common interest at heart. As a matter of fact, the leaders, the MPs, they will not bring their kids to public school. They cannot even think about that. Let us not waste precious time at the workshop since it's just a day. Let us focus on constructing good schools for the children and especially the girl child and children for the poor. How can they understand what you call a good school mean if they can't have the children in public school? I don't know what you're up to, Kiki. That is the reason why you guys, I was telling you, we need to approach this conference by first talking about values. Values for women, Values for men, values for children, values for our, our country more, values, values even for our country. And then the other issues, we can discuss them much later. Yeah. So, how do you see about this election? Okay, as of now, mm -hmm. Oh, the, it's still premature, we can't say anything. Yes. We just have to wait okay. for the election time to come and then maybe we can see the results. Oh, good comment. For me, I actually don't know much about the candidates, mm -hmm. so I can't be, predict who will be the winner. Okay. I'm not much into politics, okay, but okay. I think I know. So, you are saying you have not heard of Langasa? Yes. Mm -hmm. In fact, I know of Ochupai as the main contestant. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've heard of Nangasa, mm -hmm. but I don't think people know her. Thank you. Yes. I've been following your campaigns very closely. Mm -hmm. I'll say mm -hmm. Nangasa has a good chance of winning the Senate seat, yes. but she has to work hard. Mm -hmm. You guys are now here looking for what we think. Can you explain that more? 
I mean, mm -hmm. your candidate wants me to vote her. Yeah. Whom has she ever assisted in this area since she was uh, appointed to senior government positions? Mm -hmm. She's just like everyone else who doesn't care about us. Mm -hmm. You mean when she was an ambassador? When she served in an ambassadorial appointment. Mm -hmm. She only assisted her family. During her tenure as a cabinet minister with a powerful portfolio, mm -hmm. other ministers from other tribes got jobs through nepotism instigated appointments. Yes. She's like everyone else who doesn't care about us. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes law can be very, really hard for honest people. They constructed good roads in their home areas. This person you are rooting for was mm -hmm. only interested in expanding her expansive business empire. Thank you. Yes. People are ready to vote in this lady. Oh, <laughs> tell us more about that. They say uh -huh. she's an honest woman. Yes. Who respects other people. Yes. Compared to Ochupai, mm -hmm. who does not care about other people. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking on my behalf. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please go ahead, go ahead. When I went to her office, yes. she welcomed me. Yeah. Even though I had to wait from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. That is her time. She attended to me mm -hmm. and promised to help me with my son's education. Exactly. I'll vote for her. Vote for her. Because she has promised to help me. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure mm -hmm. she will help other people. Mm. Obviously, she can't help everybody. I know exactly. It is my hope and desire. Yes. That she wins. Ah, she will win. Ah, that's very good. Uh, that is her nature. She is a woman of people. Yes. For me, the problem is I haven't read anything from the manifesto from you people. Oh, that's a very interesting comment. Manifesto. Ochupai has a manifesto out. Yes. But what agenda do you have for people of Moyo? Oh, we have a lot of ideas. Very good ideas. Slowly. Uh, hey. Hey. Up, up here. Up here. South, southwest. Where? Ah, uh, here. Hey. 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 Slowly. Uh. It's okay. Ow. Hey. 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 Just imagine. All this is because of these stupid neighbors. You complain and you went out with Ochupai supporters. Why mm. don't we have freedom, freedom of, of expression in this country? Huh? Those Ochupai supporters, they support him blindly. Just because he has all the money. Useless. Relax the muscles. Useless. Just imagine. A fool like Sosi. I helped plow his field. And yet for my reward he breaks my leg. A useless nut like Tommy. I cut for him big trees he couldn't even do by himself. Morning to evening for a whole month. If it were not for me, sweetie, if it were not for me, even his house would have not been complete. And yet, the, yet is the person who held me down when thugs rain blows on me. Telling me does not help, Mushi. Just lie down here and bring you food. The campaign you went for here. Here is the result, Mushi. That's the money you are looking for. What result? I was talking to them. They could not listen to what I was telling them. Nangasa is a lady indeed. What good has Ochupai done for us? What is it? What development has he done for us? At least everyone has gotten something from him, but just for me and my wife, getting nothing. Getting Shit. us won't change things. Shit! The campaign's out more and, and... And what? Of course you're not going to vote. Huh? Eh? I have an idea. Sit, sit. sit. So you calm down. I have an idea. Uh, after you fetch the water from the, the, the stream, and after give, getting the vegetables, and after giving the cattle some water, uh. I want you to come help me, just in case I might walk softly to the voting Wolela. station. Mushi, Wolela, you mean it's that very important for you to vote? Of course, I have to vote for Nangasa. Oh, so can I go and borrow Sosi's wheelbarrow so that I can push you down there? Stupid! Stupid! How? Who is the owner of this house? Who brought you here? 
How how do you tell me that you put me on a wheelbarrow? Stupid woman. Stupid. Stupid. Come here. Come come here. Come here. Come here. Mushi, it's not fun getting you from there down to that chair. Now you want me Tanya to call you all the way to the polling center. Uh -uh. Am I useless sitting here? Now I call you, you refuse to come when I'm calling you. Come here. C come here. Come Come here. You. You. One of these finders, I will knock this head. Hey, you, I can see you have a lot of energy to beat your wife even when your leg is broken. Ah. Who, 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 who are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> ah. He, no. Huh? Useless. Get out of here. Useless. Useless. This lady now has a great mind, but the people in this town, including you, they cannot see a great mind. But the people in this town, they cannot just see. All of them are very. Hey guys, how are you? Why are you greeting us? That's all good. Uh, can we stop this business of running for money from these politicians on the campaign? Look at him. How do you expect us to refuse money that is brought at our doorsteps? Mm -hmm. You mean you expect us to refuse money that is given to us? Yeah. Huh? Aren't you encouraging or forcing these guys in getting to bribing you? Hey. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Let me tell you. These like Thanksgiving they are giving to us is not a bribe. I mean, we are getting back our tax. Even if you say it's not a bribe, don't you see that once this guy goes to parliament, the first three years, he'll be working to recover his money. The remaining two, he'll be investing for your banks. Look at him. At investing in you. You're so funny. You're Can so funny. Try? Investing it in you. <laughs> Get the... <laughs> You get out. I'll see. I'm around. A question was raised earlier on why we should look for someone who has a performance track record on women and children issues. I did not get your answer well. A person whose family is not intact cannot even think or even care about family welfare. He will think politics. Improves the number of bars, pubs, clubs, which are all places of drinking. Here yeah. is that kind of thinking has no conscience. It's true. Second, I will disagree with my two colleagues here when they say we should give priority to a person who values democracy and has good values. Why? Why? Why is that? I know that is very important. Mm. But the first thing to see is that a good candidate has no laws. Oh. Has a good and healthy family. Yes. Has no criminal record. Yes. Then you can think of the so called right. Yes. Yes. And above all, nice. this person should be able to treat his or a family in the same clinic as we do. Yes. Madam. Where do you get this type of candidate you want us to vote for? The candidates who are at the top are either people with so much money or people who are in the right party and have good funders behind them. Sure. Yeah. If you look very carefully, they are right. There. What you are saying is close to what Mbea was saying in the line of values. I don't doubt your concern, but you are dreaming if you expect us to vote those good candidates who have no money because they spend time enriching themselves. Yeah, that's what they do. True. I disagree. I disagree. Okay, I disagree. Okay, people, the point I put across, or rather I'm trying to put across, is that we should know our rights because it's our rights to have our rights. Yes. Uh, I'm worried of people who have no money. We do not need to worry about whether someone has money or not. We should care that this person has values, a vision that will lead this country somewhere. Yes. But aren't we becoming independent and autonomous countries? We will discuss that tomorrow because that is not exactly how the constitution frames a county. Anyway, the candidate you vote uh, should be able to understand that a county is part of a nation. Mm. And therefore, 
is able to place Moyo, for example, on a national platform as a successful story. Yes. Yes. They're all the same, selfish, but few actually perform. Few of them. Let, few of them. Let me add, let me add, people, that this person that you vote for should deliver what is expected of his or her office. Mm -hmm. What this amounts to is that if the person delivers, we have no worry, or rather, we do not need favors from anyone. Mm -hmm. yes. The system of governance delivers, not in the you. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Chairman. I was Mr. almost Senator. giving up on you. <laughs> I was... You couldn't. I had to come in one way or the other. You know there is too much traffic out there. Chago. Yes. That's why in our manifesto, we are emphasizing on the need of improving our road infrastructure in the city. People can badly lose business in this traffic. Yes, indeed. We have to set aside a huge chunk of our business, of our budget. That is after winning the election, to make sure that these perennial traffic snail ups in the city is a thing of the past. Exactly. That is cri <laughs> critical for any developing nation. Mr. Senen, <laughs> I assure you that I am fully behind you in all this. That's a great reassurance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Senen, I also wanted to mention to you that uh, Chairman is very high-hearted and it has been very difficult for me to work comfortably with him. Uh, the thing is, Chairman is very hard on cash. And it is dawning on me that without your intervention, this whole thing of campaign is going to backfire. How come I was, I was not informed about this before? <laughs> it was just a matter of time. You know, I did not want to sensationalize the whole issue. You need to realize that such issues are what build up and scandalize this campaign or leads to a failed effort from someone who has invested a whole vision and finances into a huge camp campaign like what I have done. All in all, I believe that the slogan, prosperity for all, <laughs> is at the heart of a successful <laughs> campaign. I am sure of that. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. I assure you, I will notify all the other guys about the campaign. Okay. Up there again. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.